Welcome dear viewers, to an exciting exploration into the feline world. Today, we're embarking on a captivating journey, a comparison of our beloved domestic cats to their majestic big cat relatives. You might be surprised by the uncanny similarities they share. From their size and hunting instincts, to their vocalizations, grooming rituals, and even their social structures, we're about to unravel the 10 compelling ways these two feline worlds collide. Do you ever wonder how similar your house cat is to a lion or a tiger? Stay tuned to find out. Our first comparison point is size. Yes, your kitty is not as big as a tiger, but let's dive deeper. The size difference between your cuddly domestic feline and its majestic wild cousin is quite striking. But don't let that fool you. Both are perfectly designed for their respective lifestyles from the tiniest house cat to the largest of lions. Their skeletal structures are nearly identical, with the same number of bones arranged in the same order. This shared blueprint allows them to perform the acrobatic feats we so often associate with felines. The length of a cat's tail, the agility of its spine, the power in those hind legs, it's all there, whether you're looking at a Siberian tiger or a Siamese. So, despite the difference in scale, domestic cats and big cats share the same feline grace and agility. So next time you see your kitty stretching, remember, it's just their inner tiger coming out. Ever watched your domestic cat hunt a toy or a bug? Well, they're not so different from their big cousins in the wild. Both domestic cats and their larger counterparts share an innate hunting instinct, a born predator's drive that's hardwired into their DNA. Just like a lion stalking its prey on the African plains, your house cat uses the same techniques while hunting down a laser pointer. It's all about stealth and precision. They keep a low profile, use their keen senses to track their target, and then pounce with a lethal accuracy that would make any big cat proud. And those playful chases after a string or a feather duster? That's their version of a cheetah's high-speed chase. It's not just about the thrill of the hunt, but also honing their skills and keeping their reflexes sharp. So, your domestic cat's midnight bug hunts? Just practicing for the Serengeti? A lion's roar or your house cat's meow, what's the difference really? Well, let's delve into the feline symphony. Both big cats and our lovable domestic felines communicate through a variety of vocalizations. The roar of a lion you see is their trademark call. It's not just for show, it's a powerful tool used for communication across the vast savanna. It can signal dominance, call for a mate, or even warn off intruders. Quite the multi-purpose tool, isn't it? Now let's turn to our domestic furballs. Their meow is not just adorable, but serves a similar purpose. Kittens meow to get their mother's attention, but adult cats primarily use it to communicate with us humans. Whether it's a demand for food, a call for attention, or just a simple greeting, each meow is a unique conversation. So the next time your cat meows, remember, it's their way of roaring. Ever seen your cat spend hours grooming or playing with a toy? They might be more like a tiger than you think. Both domestic cats and big cats share similar grooming habits. This isn't just for cleanliness, but also to keep their fur in tip-top shape for insulation and to regulate body temperature. It's about survival, not vanity. And then there's playfulness, another trait our house cats share with their larger cousins. Ever wondered why your cat pounces on that toy mouse with such ferocity? It's because they're practicing their hunting skills, just like a young lion cub would do in the wild. Play is not just about fun for these feline creatures, it's a crucial part of their development and survival. So next time your cat spends an hour licking its fur, or seems overly enthusiastic about a ball of yarn, give them a break. Remember when your cat is grooming or playing, they're just being their natural wild selves. Your house cat loves a good sunbath and nap, right? Well, so does a lion. Just like your feline friend at home, big cats adore basking in the sun. This isn't just to soak up some rays though. Sunbathing aids in digestion, helps regulate body temperature, and even aids in producing essential vitamins. As for the art of relaxation, both domestic and big cats have it down pat. They're not just lazy, their snoozing habits serve a purpose. You see, cats are crepuscular, meaning they're most active during twilight hours. This explains why your little tiger seems to have a burst of energy at dawn and dusk. The rest of the time, they're conserving their energy by resting, just like their big cat cousins. Whether it's a lion lounging in the grasslands, 
or your own cat sprawled on the living room carpet, these feline friends sure know how to relax. So, when your kitty is lounging in the sun, they're channeling their inner lion, enjoying the Serengeti sun. Is your domestic cat a lone hunter or a member of a pride? Let's find out. When it comes to social structures, there's a fascinating parallel between our house cats and their big cat cousins. Domestic cats, like their relative the tiger, are often seen as solitary creatures. They're independent, self-reliant, and can spend hours on their own without feeling lonely. This is similar to tigers who are lone hunters, spending most of their time alone in their vast territories. On the other hand, we often catch our feline friends seeking companionship, whether it's with us or with other cats. They can form deep bonds and show affection, much like lions who live in prides. Lions are known for their strong social bonds, living in groups that are often made up of related females and their offspring, led by a male or a coalition of males. But here's the catch. While your domestic cat might enjoy the company of fellow felines, they're not as into the whole pride concept as lions are. They're more like a one-man army, a bit of a lone ranger if you will. They mark their territory, they hunt alone, and they often prefer their own company. So, while they may not be forming prides like lions, they're certainly not antisocial. In conclusion, whether your cat is a social butterfly or a solitary soul, it's all part of their wild ancestry. They're just showing their inner big cat, in their own unique cat-tastic way. So your cat's preference for solitude or company? It's all a part of their wild ancestry. So, there we have it. 10 ways your house cat is remarkably similar to a big cat. From their size and hunting instincts, to their vocalizations, grooming rituals, and playfulness. Even their sunbathing and resting habits, territory marking, night vision, and social structures draw parallels to their majestic big cat cousins. It's a delightful revelation, isn't it? Our domestic cats, in their own unique ways, mirror the grandeur of the wild. Do you see your domestic cat in a new light now? Could they be a miniature tiger in disguise? We'll leave you to ponder that. If you enjoyed our video, please subscribe to Cats Unraveled, thank all of you, and see you in the next one.